Welcome to part one of my video tutorial for the Buchla 252E Polyphonic Rhythm Generator. This is going to be a brief overview. There are five basic sections to the entire module. It begins up here with the control voltage outputs. There are six of them and CV editing suite. Uh, it can select pulses, which are shown here for editing. To go into edit, we'll hit that. This shows that there is some CV uh, programmed material in there right now for CVs 1 through 3 and CVs 4 through 6. And subdivide is a um, part of the pulse subdivision, which is linked to this section over here. And then the final button push shows everything that's in play. Uh, we can look at whoops, all the different layers, for instance. Go through there. There's CVs, CVs. Nothing's programmed in this. Subdivide, nothing programmed. And there. Okay. This is the default setup when you get the 252E with pulses in three slots there. Okay. The next section is the display, which shows all the different layers, and we'll be looking at that um, very soon. The third section is all the clocks. There are three independent clocks. You can think of them being linked to pulses if you want, um, red, green, and blue, but that's not necessary. They're, they're programmable to however you want. Each clock has 11 layers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and sixteen. They can be internally controlled or externally controlled through these control voltages. You can also sync them on the one so that every time every circle forces itself to show up on the one at the same time, or they can be independently cycled uh, and still synchronized, but they will just travel at their own uh, master BPM. Here's the master BPM, and it can be changed simply by turning the dial and pressing the button. And the fourth section is the rhythm select. It can be user-defined or Euclidean. We'll look into that more. The cell Encoder is here. When we're in edit mode, it well, takes you around the flashing white-gray uh, light, lets you know that this is the cell being edited. And you can then choose the rings through this encoder all the way out to all the way in. We'll stay on 4, which is the default. And the next section, and last section, is the pulse editing section. You can select three independent pulse outs. They are coded red, green, and blue. The play stop button. You can dial in the duration of the pulse. Think of that as staccato to legato and everything in between. Uh, phase allows you to shift around the whole pattern to a different beat, or a different numbered beat. Behind and ahead allows you to push the pulses behind or ahead of the master beat. Clear button allows you to clear the whole thing. And cell subdivide we'll be looking into very soon. And then copy and paste, which is pretty straightforward. OK, there you have the quick overview of the Buchla 252 Polyphonic Rhythm Generator. The next part, we'll start looking at editing pulses. Thanks. See you soon.